Hi Clout Chasers! Welcome back to my channel. This is Mousy, the Ultimate SL Clout Chaser. And the reason I am filming today is because I just received my powder pack. I'm so excited. It's from March 2020 and the featured head is Jenis, guys. So we are about to get into this. So as a reminder, as of today, the powder pack is going to be full price. Maybe at the end of the video, I'll go over to headquarters and check to see what that full price could, would be. It's either 2500 or 3500 Linden, 2500 Linden or 3500 Linden. It depends on who participates. In addition to who participates, what the value of the items are. Now, you ladies have the opportunity to get this powder pack between March 1st and the 15th. For 1,500 Linden, or guys, you had the chance to gift it to SL Bay for that price. With that being said, um, if you did not do it, you'd have to pay full price right now, but just keep that in mind for future releases. Uh, I did a giveaway with the powder pack. Uh, Brooke was kind enough to sponsor my 100 subby giveaway, and she gave away a free powder pack to Octavia Dorchester. Congratulations, babe. I'm so happy that you won, and I gave away some cash prizes as well, 1,500 Linden, a gift from me to you guys for helping me get to, I think, 202, 203 subbies right now, and um, another, like, spontaneous prize of 1,000 Linden because we ended up at 200 subbies. Like, it was a 100 subby giveaway, and then my sub count doubled. So thank you guys so much for that. So right now I am on the rooftop of my house. Why did I choose this as a background? I don't know. I just like the water. I like the beach and I like the green, uh, the greenery, like the mountains and the trees and things like that. And I thought it'd be a cute backdrop. So um, that's why I'm standing on my roof. <laughs> it's so weird. I know I'm a weird person. What can I say? All right, so I received the powder pack. Um, it was delivered like literally 10 minutes ago. So right now I was like in the middle of filming the secret Sunday sale and I was like, you know what? I'm going to do this first because it's going to be shorter. And, um, and this is where we are. So I attached the HUD and we're going to open that up right now. And I might have to just scoot it over just a bit. Okay. And all you have to do is click on the brand in order to get the item delivered. So I'm going to click on Adored, and I'll just do the top row. Like, I'll do it a row at a time. Arise, Clef de la Peau, and Colbati Beauty. I have no idea what to expect. I don't know what's in these HUDs. You guys are going to find out right along with me. Okay, so I'm going to go to my Objects folder, and I guess we'll go to Colbati first. And we're going to accept that. And we're going to detach. We're going to go to Clef de la Peau. And so if you're a basic chick like me and your makeup routine is like red lipstick and lashes or um, I'm actually wearing the eyeshadow from the Secret Sunday sale last week. Okay, so I'm just waiting for a rise because that seems to be a little bit. Oh, with the rise, I don't have to do anything. Is, is it? Let me just see something. Okay. Alright, so I think I have their pack now. So we have Kobati Rise, and so we just need a Dord right now. Yeah, if your makeup routine is like eyeliner and lipstick, or mine is like a sheer glossy lip in real life, and a cat eye, but really good skin, and like, even if it's really good fake skin, <laughs> like a really good natural looking dewy foundation routine that's really glowy, um, and you want to just step it up and like do some eyeshadows and things like that. So this head is baked on mesh. Guys, please don't judge me if I don't use the baked on mesh options because do I even have baked on mesh skin? I'm just trying to think. If you have baked on mesh, it's very easy to use, but um, I don't have baked on mesh on my head. Uh, I wonder if that's going to be an issue. If I end up with skin that's baked on mesh, I will put the baked on mesh makeup on, okay? So right now we're at Adored, and Adored looks like they have some lipsticks and eyeshadow. Um, I'm getting all these messages. Leave me alone. I'm busy. I'm filming a video. All right, then. So it looks like we have a lot of a bunch of lipstick colors, and then we have removals for lipstick. So the first thing I'm going to do is remove the lipstick that I'm wearing. I'm going to remove the eyeshadow. And here's Mousy Bareface with just lashes. Then I'm going to try on lipstick one, eyeshadow one, 
just to give you guys an idea of what these things look like. If we have to try on bases, uh, like blushes, it will interfere with my hair base, so I just want to give you guys a warning of that now. I actually like this. Um, this goes with my overall aesthetic with the eyeshadows and things that I wear. I do like the red smoky eye that I'm getting here. Let's go on to this one. This is more of an orangey lipstick and it's like kind of a sheen to it. So let's try that on. I think the eyeshadows are going to be pretty much the same. So let me just remove this lipstick. There's a little bit of a delay. And that's the reason I decided to film on my sim because I just felt like there will be a little bit of lag. This lipstick I've like literally clicked three times and I've been having some issues with it. Alright, so I'm going to skip on to the next one. There may be an issue with lipstick number two. Lipstick number three is pinky red and it's matte. So if you guys like that, go check this out. Um, I think the first eyeshadow is very similar to the second. This, The third is more of a golden color, so I'm going to click there just to give you an idea of what that looks like. It's really subtle. Yeah, it's really subtle. I like this Adored palette. I mean, it goes for me. It's kind of like the makeup that I wear anyway. Lipstick 2 and 4 looks very similar. So it looks like they give you a matte version and then this version that kind of like sheens a little bit. It's like it has this kind of gradient color and sheens a bit. And this is uh, more of an orangey red eyeshadow. Okay. What do you guys think? I don't know if I like these sheen colors, but I'll try another one of like kind of the gradient gold ombre lipsticks. So we have a matte kind of violet lipstick and then we have that um, golden gradient ombre sort of tone. I don't mind it on my skin. I think I like the upper eyeshadows better because it's not as much. It looks a little thinner. So this is really pretty makeup. Yeah, that's really pretty. A lot more makeup than I would normally wear, for sure, um, but it's very nice. Uh, I don't mind it at all. Let me just go back to the first eyeshadow. I think I like that better. Yeah, that, this is me right here, and I think this lip is me. I think everything else was a little bit much, but I'm going to remove my lipstick, and I'm going to remove my eyeshadow to go on to the next makeup so that you guys could see what it looks like. So I removed lipstick. And I'm going to remove eyeshadow. And I like that we have a cleaner that comes along with this makeup too. Alright then, so that's done. Let's detach this. And that was adored, guys. Let's move on to the next makeup. I feel like you're at my house, except we're on the roof. But you know what? To be honest, if I had a flat roof, I would totally hang out with some chairs and like beers. But it's the morning, so we'd have some iced coffee or something. And then we could see what our makeup looks like in the natural sunlight. I'm with it. So for Arise, we have the Molly eyes, and we also have eyeshadow. So let's get out the HUD for the eyes, and then we'll get out the eyeshadow HUD as well. And let's just minimize this. All right, so this one's the eyeshadow HUD. Let's go for this kind of like, oh, it's the eye HUD, my bad. Oh, or is it eyes and eyeshadow all at once? Hold on, let me just uh, move this up and down. Hmm. The eyes changed. Okay, you know what? I think I need to have these both on opposite sides. All right, so let's do that. So this is going to be left, right eye. So we'll just try on a few of their eyes since they're like making me do that right now. So I love this brown color. I would totally rock this. I think it looks really beautiful. It looks really nice on Mousy. I'm going to detach the eyeshadows for now. We'll just focus on the eyes. This looks really good. All right, then we have this kind of greenish, swampish olive color. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, I feel like you guys are my friends. You're hanging out in my house and we're like, hey, we got some new makeup. Or let's just try some stuff out that we got for free and... That's what we're doing right now. It's a vibe. All right, then we have like this sort of, that's pretty too. It's very natural looking eyes. Like, I think it's really nice. I like the shine. I like the pupil that you can't tell so much about it. We're trying more of the golden tone, but it looks super green. 
What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section, like, what is your favorite eye color for Mousy? I've been wearing the free eyes from Euphoric, shameless plug, that's one of my first videos. I've been wearing the free eye color from Euphoric, but let me know if you think one of these eye colors from this pack, this powder pack, actually looks better. And I might change my eye color. And this, this is the green. I don't know what the difference is between, like, these shades are so subtly different. It's hard to tell. Like, um, like for example, this green is a little bit brighter green than, say, this one, with, like, the hazel brown color. But, Arise, you did a really good job. I think this looks really pretty. The colors, when I'm looking at the picture, they do look a little bit muddy. So, this is another green, but this is more of a hazel green. Where's my eyelock? I feel like that's missing. Let me just look that up. I lock HUD. Sometimes I don't lock it because it just locks my eye up. Let's just open it up for a second. All right, we'll, we'll figure out if we need to lock it in a few. But this one's more of a hazel eye color if you guys could see that one, but it's nice. All right, and then we have this kind of like grayish blue color, and this is grayish blue with more brown in it, and I'll just do left here, and then this is, and okay, so let's do left grayish blue with more brown, and then for the right, we'll do grayish blue with more blue in it. You see that? So it's a subtle difference. And let me just do that. So on the left, this is like a violet color with more brown, and then on the right is just like more Game of Thrones, you are Targaryen violet color. I like the violet because it looks weird, it's not something that's really, I would say I definitely like the one on the right a little bit more. All right, and let's do the same thing. I think that's how we'll handle the eyes. So on the left, I have these hazel eyes, and on the right, we have like more of a bright green color. Can you guys see the difference? This is the brighter color, and this is the hazel with the brown in it. All right, and then let's just do that for the grays. Grayish brown on the left, and more of a bright gray on the right. Okay. I barely see a difference in this at all. Okay, and then let's do that. We have like a cognac, not even cognac brown, uh, but we have like a nice, what kind of brown would this be? Hmm, it's like a honey brown, like a honey brown and a golden brown. So let's check that out. We'll wait for that to rest and also for my pose to change. What do you guys think? And then we have like the darker brown. So this is like more of like a caramel brown and this is like a dark brown on the right eye. So dark brown, kind of like olive green color and then a honey brown. All right, so I think I like this honey color. So I'm gonna change both my eye colors. I like them all. I kind of like the golden brown too, but I like this. All right, so let's just pick this. We'll, we're rocking the Arise brown. Let's see how that works out for us. That's really pretty, guys. I like that. All right, so let me come up on my head a little bit. Now let's go to the eyeshadows, Arise eyeshadows, because when they were stacked on top of each other, it was like kind of hard. What happened was I thought I was changing my eyeshadow color and what was happening is I was changing my eye color because it was like seeping through. So we have, we're going to do, I want, I can't do right, left, right? It'll have to be both eyes. So I'm going to pick a few eyeshadows so that you guys could see the colors. It's so subtle. Oh, okay, there it is. All right, so we have this gray metallic sheen on the eyeshadow. I don't know if you guys like that. So that's the gray metallic tone. It shimmers a bit. And then let's go to something gold. Let's go to gold. Oh my God, guys, my lashes are hella long. I didn't even realize that, but I love it. Come into my spider web. So this is the gold color. What do you guys think? I think with brown eyes, the gold is going to look really nice. And then for people with like maybe blue eyes or something like that, 
oh my god, you guys are gonna make me change my lashes today too, because I I'm always like hesitant to change it. All right, and so this is like the bluish tone eyeshadow. It's very subtle. It's like everyday makeup, so it's not bad. This is Mousy approved. Like Mousy would totally rock this. Let's look at the green. Arise did a really good job. I'm like loving everything they did. I love the eyes. I love the eyeshadows. Okay, there you go, green. That's pretty, guys. Ooh, look, can you see how pretty that is? That is really pretty, guys. All right, so let's try the fuchsia color, and then we have, like, a pale purple. Or should I try dark purple? Because I feel like the first six colors are along the same tones. It's just a matter of selecting what tone you like. So if you're super pale, let me just move this out the way. If you're super pale, like, maybe you want to pick like the lighter tone and I'll move this up you'll you'll want to pick the lighter tone but of the goldenish browns because maybe it might be a little too harsh on your skin and if you're a little darker then maybe you want to pick like some of the like purples and maybe the greens because it's dark and it's saturated but not so much that it looks bright and chalky. So I approve of all these eyeshadows. So I'm going for the orange right now. I think this would be amazing on darker skin tones as well as the purple. Look how pretty this is. That looks really neutral and nice. So I'm going to leave this eyeshadow on. Let me just give you guys. That looks really neutral and nice. And I could see myself adding this to my rotation. All right. So we've gone through um, Clef. I'm sorry, we've gone through Adored and we've gone through Arise. Oh no, I think my skin is Nikki. So this looks like skin that I'm going to need to change. <sighs> all right, these are all baked on mesh. Right, for Clef. I'm going to skip the baked on mesh. There are going to be other videos. Unless I get a skin that is baked on mesh. All right, oh, shoot. What are you guys gonna make me do this? All right, let me look at my inventory really quickly and see if I could just make my face baked on mesh. That way I could try the skin on. So what I'm looking for is either my new Jenna's head or the baked on mesh. I don't remember what the new Genesis head is. Oh, it's it might be like the 1.3. Okay. Uh. All right. So let me. I'm gonna wear this. All right. I'll do this for you guys. All right. So right now I'm wearing my Genesis head. I'm going to take off the V1.6. Oh, uh, or maybe I shouldn't have. Because everything is 1.4, 1.1. I think I might have been okay. I just want to make sure I have the most recent Genesis head on. That's what I'm looking for. Uh, I don't remember. Yeah, 1.4 is what I had before, and Jenna's had sent us new heads yesterday, so give me a second. Let me just find that, and I think the easiest way to find it is to go to the objects folder, because that would have the most recent items. So, just give me a second. That way I get to try out things for Clef, and I don't leave anyone out. So, hump day sale HUD. It would have come in after that. Okay, so this was the Genesis head that I received. Let's click on that and just throw it into the recent file so to make sure that we have that. And if I'm not mistaken, the Genesis head already has the baked on mesh compatibility, so it should be easier for me to try on the skins. Even though I may not have like certain things set up. So the baby face V1.7 is gonna be the new head. And I'm not going to have any skin on this head. But we are going to use the Clef de la Peau skin that we just got. So let's see what that looks like. All right. So I have my Jenna's head on. I have my Rise eyes. I don't have a hair base on. I'm going to be looking a hot mess for a second. So just bear with me. So new Jenna's head on. Now we're going to go to Clef de la Peau. Oh, look, they had a pliers. 
All right, but anyway, since we're in the baked on mesh section, let me just show you, because I don't know if it's actually the skin. So it looks like they have skin. It says Astrid Freckles. So let's just try this on. And then coffee with eyebrows. So let's try that skin. Is this not baked on mesh? It's not populating. Hmm. All right, guys, I'm not going to waste time with this because I don't want to keep you too long. Let's take that off. Let's take that off. I don't want to figure this out on camera. This is something I would have preferred to do off camera because I do see the pliers. I'm not going to wear this head right now. I'll figure it out later. So what I'm going to do is detach this head and I'm just going to put my normal head on. And my normal head is that. Let's just add this. All right, and then we'll just go, because I thought Clef didn't have the non-baked on mesh options, but it actually looks like it does. All right, so let's go to the coffee applier. I'm not exactly sure what they're selling. So I see two HUDs here. We have a coffee applier HUD. Oh, it's skin. Okay, it's skin. All right, so let's try coffee. Uh, we're going to try coffee with eyebrows. That's nice. Kind of, I think. Uh, let's try coffee with freckles. I don't know why it gets rid of my hair base. That's what it looks like with freckles. Let's try it with makeup. But why, why am I missing brows? The makeup is very subtle, so I don't think that it would be worth... These. My only issue with this skin is the brows are really strong. Let me put my hair base back on so I don't look like too crazy. So I'm wearing the Revolve Baby Girl hair base. And all you have to do is... It comes in Katwa, Leluca, Omega HUD, and all you have to do is add it, and I just wear the third one. You just match it as close to your skin tone as possible, and it's the tattoo layer, because I like to have my baby hairs coming out. So let's just do that so we have it, and I probably should have kept it up, because it looks like I'm going to have to change it often. So this is what this does to my skin. Uh, if I try the Clef de la Peau, it's nice. I think the only thing I don't like is the eyebrows. If I were going to wear this, I would have to really choose my own eyebrows. Do I need to change the shape? All right, I will also change the shape for you guys just to see what they intended it to look like. And I'll change the eyebrows. My God. Mousy gets a whole new look. What do you guys think? So this is the Rise Eyeshadow. This is a very, like, sculpted face in a way that my face is not normally sculpted. Uh, it changed my body a little bit. I, I kind of like the body a little bit, but this is what the face looks like. I, th I feel like it's too flat and wide and a little too pinched. But it's an interesting face. It's like a little too pinched, kind of. All right, let's try a different color. Uh, let's try nature. I don't know what color nature is, but let's try that. So this is the Clef de la Peau skin. So let's try it with the eyebrows. And then you guys are going to have to bear with me because I'm going to need to find my other skin, which I think is Pumic Nakia, and then I'm going to change my shape back again. So this is a lighter skin tone, and now you guys see what the shape looks like. So if you like it with this hair, this is what it is. Okay, let me check to see if there's anything else that I'm missing. Wow, this is so different. It's like kind of crazy. Okay, so Plumic, let me find my skin. And I should be wearing Plumic Nakia. Let's see if I could just open it again. It's already opened, so. Okay, Pumic Nika. Turn around, Mousy. 
I think I like my body better. I may change my body so it looks like this going forward. Like, I may pick up all my face shape numbers because I like Mousy's face. Um, and just keep this body because sometimes people tell me I'm too slim. So maybe I'll just change it up a little bit. Even though I think my body is fine. Let me just show you what my shape generally looks like. So, uh, what should I do? 211 or something like that? Or when's the last time I updated my shape? 2 dash. Let's just do 2 dash. Three twelve was a, I put a little bit thicker. Yeah, so this is my normal shape. It's not that much off. I'm gonna leave it. I think my shape is fine, and I just made a little bit thicker because you know people sometimes tell me my body is too thin, but whatever. So let's go to the Nika skin and just put my skin back on for a second. And it just changed my face, so everything should be fine. All right, so here we go. Back to Mousy. The Mousy you know and love. So there we go. All right, so that is Clef de la Peau. Like, basically, they just had tons of skins for us. Sorry, guys, for, like, bumbling around for a couple minutes there. Uh, and I just want to go through and make sure there isn't anything else, like, we must see with Clef. All right, so Clef, Clef, Clef. Because my makeup is simple, that's why I'm not using Baked On Mesh. I'm not, like, if you guys want to see the toast, the toast would probably be a color between the coffee and what I was wearing. So it comes in toast, and there's body packs for it, for the skin. So if you buy this, you get a free skin. And the body skins are for Beleza, Legacy, Matre, and Slink. And um, that's about it. So, um, Clef de la Peau, I hope you feel like I did your object justice. Um, I really tried without like having to change everything about myself like I just changed the shape that and just showed people what it looks like as well the face the face is going to match the body guys so you don't have to worry about getting a choker to match yourself up all right so these are really pigmented eyeshadows guys so the first thing I'm drawn to is this like purplish pink color so let's draw get that and then I'm going to move to the brown and some of the greens and the other tones and there's also lip glosses so let's just get the lip glosses out and maybe we'll just kill two birds with one stone so I'm going to move the lip glosses to this side or eyeshadow something all right so there we go and let's try the lip glosses so let's see what do you guys think of this eyeshadow it's very high pigmented it's very like beautiful i like the like actual detail of what they did in the creases and it's just really pretty so i'm going to try on this brown lip gloss with this brown eyeshadow let's see what this looks like that's pretty nice guys what do you think it's very natural it's very natural looking it looks really nice and now we're going to try on this kind of like reddish tone with the blue eyeshadow. Or maybe I should have done something that was a little bit neutral. I don't know how much I love the lip gloss, I'm going to be honest with you guys. But I do love the eyeshadows, and I don't even wear eyeshadows. Wow. Okay, the reddish lip gloss is a little bit much for me. I'm going to try the brown, and I'm also going to try like... it. I, I just don't think the lip glosses are for me, but I, I do like the eyeshadow a lot. You guys would have to try it on. The base of the lipsticks are too white to be flattering. It's like a little bit chalky even on lipsticks that are not supposed to be. Like, so this lip gloss right here is the lightest one. It's going to look like I ate a powdered donut. Like, I'm almost sure of it. Yeah. It's not horrible, but yeah, I'm pulling out a little bit and pulling back in. <laughs> Yeah, it's not horrible, but um, I don't know. It, it would have to grow on me. It would have to grow on me. All right, so I'm trying on like the kind of like caramel lip gloss, which I think might look better. All right, so we have that caramel lip gloss. I love the blue eyeshadow. Let's try on like something really. So this is a bright green, and I'm going to try on like the darker olive green and see what I think of that.
it's always harder it's really hard to like change your look and get accustomed to something else I love the eyeshadows guys like I could see myself rocking it but with my own lip gloss so for example I have this lip gloss that I bought and I just searched it by it's from Medusa Genis Dulce lip gloss like this is the lip gloss that I like I always default this is my new lip gloss that I personally like and I always default to say this guy this one here uh, number three I would probably like this makeup better or the eyeshadow with my own lip gloss. See how that looks? Like, I think that's a little bit better. And then the, my lip gloss could get either lighter or darker depending on what I'm wearing. I think I would pick maybe a lighter color. So let's go on to like this dark, just really smoky eye. So I would say no to the lip gloss pack. The lip gloss is not for me, but I do really like the um, eyeshadow. Like, I think the eyeshadow is, like, really beautiful. All done. I just want to get into my face a little closer. Yeah, I think the eyeshadow is, like, really beautiful, guys. Tell me what you think. Okay, and that was Calvati with the Marcy Makeup Collection. So we looked at the lip glosses and we looked at the eyeshadows. And let's try this like darker green color. Let's see what that looks like. That's pretty. Like these eyeshadows are on point. I love this eyeshadow. The skin didn't care about Arise. I loved everything that Arise did. Uh, but yes, this is nice, guys. So I would highly recommend this. So I just wanted to pull out with my camera just a little bit, and then we'll come back in. What are you guys thinking so far of this Genesis powder pack? So that was row one. All right, now let's go back to the powder pack. I've opened quite a few things today, so. All right, so there we go. All right, so that was row one. Now we're gonna go to Essences. Let's just open that up. We're gonna go to Euphor Euphoric, whose eyes that I hope I kind of often wear. We're gonna go to Go See and Mission, and then the next row will be our last row, and that'll be the end of this video. All right, so let's just detach this. We don't need it open right now. And we are going to go into our crowded inventory right now. So we're gonna go to mission. Let's add that, accept. We're gonna go to go see. So Clef de la Peau gave us skin. We're gonna wait for that to unpack. Okay. Uh, I wasn't expecting that because I'm just like used to them selling clothes. Euphoric, let's unpack that. I kind of like this makeup look that I'm wearing right now, but I don't know if I would do the red look. So first of all, guys, like I just feel like whoever made this, like they are YouTube eyeshadow queen. Look at the creases. Look at the blending. I think it looks so good. I really like this. And then we're going to go to essences and unpack that. And then let's start. I think essences might be skin. <gasps> I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous. Okay, I'll do the skin last because I'll have to change everything about myself. So, all right. Or should we just do it first and get it over with? So essences gave us a Sabrina skin. Do we know what this looks like? Okay, so Sabrina is like a, a very fair skin tone. I will try this on for you. I will also try on the shape. So let's wear, the first thing we're going to do is change the shape. So Sabrina's tall, Sabrina's slender, and her face is kind of strong. Like, it's a little strong for me. It works for the Genesis Classic face head. I'm wearing the Genesis Baby face, okay? So that could be part of it. 
Um, then we're going to go to skin number one. Which is like milk white. We, we're going to wait for that to rest, but it looks milk white. Yeah, that looks very odd. All right, so let's go somewhere in the middle or like to number three. Like, why is it this white? So this looks like more of an ivory color. Uh, we're, we'll do it with light eyebrows. Let's see, because sometimes I think the eyebrows are a little bit dark. Don't worry about, like, say, this is really, this is, like, really white. Like, there's no dimension to the skin tone. All right, so let's try uh, number five. Guys, right now, the Essence of Sabrina, like, face color, I'm not really liking this at all. It's kind of weird to me. So this is, like, a peachy, fair tone. All right, so let's do light eyebrows again, because sometimes I feel the eyebrows are a little dark. And maybe it's just not working with my hair, but I don't think that's the issue. Could also be my makeup's too heavy. All right, so let's try one thing. Before we go back to this, because we want to give this... We want to give this face like a fair shot. So let me just go back to my Genish Universal HUD. And what I'm going to do is just remove all the makeup. I'm going to remove my eyeshadow and I'm going to remove my lipstick. So we're going to wait for that to load. That's going to take a sec or two. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the water droplet to remove my lipstick. And I'm going to use the water droplet to remove my eyeshadow. And let's go back and give this skin like a fair shot. But I don't think there's any helping it, to be honest. It's like, it's just not good. It doesn't look good. That other skin looked a lot better from um, Clef de la Peau. All right, so which one am I trying on now? All right, so let's try. And I used their shape. I didn't even keep my shape. All right, so let's try on, like, I think we're trying on number five. Let's try on number seven. But maybe you guys think it looks good. Like, you could think it looks good, and then I'm just, like, not used to it, you know? So I don't want to be too offensive. It looks good on the picture. I feel like it looks nothing like the picture. So seven, seven is not bad. Like, it's a little bit darker, but I feel like the eyes are, like, so narrow, and the lips are really pursed. Let me just look at this picture one more time. Okay, the lips look similar, but the face looks white. I don't understand. If I'm wearing the shape, why doesn't it look like the picture? It could be because I have the baby face. Maybe it's rounder in certain areas instead of the classic face. Uh, let me try to fix the eyebrows too. Because this looks nothing like it. Alright, so I've straightened the eyebrows a little bit. I definitely like it more in the darker tone. Alright, let me just come up a little bit. What do you guys think of this skin? It looks like more of a natural everyday look in the darker tone. I will say that. But some of like the milk white tones and other things, it's a, it's a little scary and it's like weird looking. All right. So let me try the darkest tone, which is number eight. So number seven is kind of like the best for me. And I'm going with light eyebrows because sometimes the eyebrows are like too harsh. And this one's like kind of like a swarthy, like Indian kind of like skin tone. Um... Uh, Arabic Middle Eastern and I think this is actually pretty too I think this is pretty like the darker skins are the best for me okay so let me go back to changing to my own skin tone oh my goodness all right, I'm like, why do you look like this? So this is what I look like even with my own skin. And I think the Pumic skin is way better. It just has so much dimension. It just looks so much better. 
uh, even with the pumic, the lip color is better, the eyebrows more natural looking, even if it does have that pinched look to it, there was just something a little bit off about that skin, like the way it was created, welcome back, oh my god, I missed you so much, girl, all right, so I just put my shape back on so that we could see what it looks like, and then continue to do the makeup trial using a face that you all know, recognize, and of course, love, so we are going to go to Euphoric, and we're going to go to the Euphoric E Beauty set, and so we have eye appliers, a face tattoo applier, which is going to mess up my hair base, but that's fine. All right, so eyes. Euphoric, here you go with these eyes again. I feel like a lot of the eyes are pretty similar to each other, so... Uh... Do we want to go up? Okay, so maybe we'll go up with this. And then I will, I'm going to come in. All right, so maybe we'll go down. I'm just trying to get you guys the most, yeah, because you got to get really close. Because even though this looks close on my screen, it may not be close to you on YouTube. So I just want to make sure that I take care of that. All right, so I think this is a good angle we're at right now. So let's do this. So we're going to do right eye dark brown, which I like, I don't mind, left eye this honey brown, and that's how we'll do it so that we get a feel for both. The honey is like extremely light. It's really subtle. The dark and the light, you can't really tell too much difference between. And let's tilt the camera a little bit. You can't tell the difference between. So that's what the two browns look like. I think I like more of the lighter dark brown, if you ask me. And then we are going to change the right eye to this like golden specked green. And then we're going to have this really light greenish blue color. We're just waiting for that to load. It looks really gray. The light greenish uh, green. It, oh, there it is. It's back. All right. It wasn't fully rest. So it looks like the same eye color, except for the left has more of a green tone. It's both rims blue with like hazel specks in between. So now we're going to go like to the right eye. It's going to be like a straight up blue eye, blue rimmed or gray rims with uh, hazel specks. And then we have like kind of more of a darker brown eye. Euphoric always makes beautiful eyes. Like there's nothing I can say about them in their eyes. Like they're always on point. They know what they're doing. I love this blue color. I think it's really pretty. Uh, this grayish green brown color is a little too muddy for me to really love it, but let's go with the right eye. We're going to go with um, kind of more of a sky blue, yellow, gold color in the center, and then we're going to go with the lightest color in the bunch. So we just need to wait for that to rise. Yeah, so those are the Eve colors. I am going to go to the light brown just to keep the vibe that we had with Arise. I like the Rise eye, eyes better, at least the browns, so I will say that. So then we're going to go to a Beauty Markiplier. All right, where would this go? So Euphoric has given us a lot of things. I have nothing to compare it to, though, because I don't know what it usually is. So I don't know if this is going to be on the blush area, but if my head, hair base goes, don't mind it. Yeah, it goes. It must be on the blush area. I'll fix that. If you have baked on mesh, and let's say that you want to wear a beauty mark. So there's a beauty mark that's right here next to my nose. So there you go. That's one. And then beauty mark number two is like right by my mouth here. I think that's really cute. So this is what baked on mesh would be great for. With baked on mesh, not only would you have your skin on, you could have by your eyeshadows on, you could have your blush, and you could have like three or four beauty marks, everything if you wanted. So if you wanted to add more dimension and character to your face, like that's what baked on mesh would be for. You wouldn't be competing to have a beauty mark or um, a hair base on. But let's say that you were, the only issue is that you just have to wear, like, say, a doe hair that you don't need hair base for. So look, there you go. You have a beauty mark right here under your eye and on the side of your face. And then number four, let's see where that pops up. Okay, and four is, like, right above the lip, Cindy Crawford style. Okay, so that's what the beauty marks look like. 
that's where you can apply it. And this says tattoo applier, so let's see where this would go. It, again, if it's on the blush layer, it's going to mess with your hair base if you're not wearing baked on mesh. But what would this tattoo be? Okay, so this is what the tattoo is. It's like some wording on the neck. Did I even get this? Hold on a second, guys. Let me just get in here. What does that even say? Can I see what that says on the picture? Like, I could see the tattoo. I don't know what the tattoo says. So we went through the eyes, we went through the beauty marks, we'll do the eyeshadow. She looks a lot like Rihanna, like the eyes. We'll do the eyeshadow shortly in the lipsticks. I don't know what the tattoo says. That would have been really helpful if we knew what it says. But this is what it looks like on the skin. It's like really subtle. It's like a really subtle kind of like face tattoo. Can you guys see that? I do like the beauty marks. I'm not going to lie about that. I like that a lot. I don't know if you guys could see that. I hope I'm close enough that you could see the tattoo because I have a lot of big hair. It's just right here on the neck. So it's hidden. It's really subtle. It's feminine. It's not like, I, not to say that if you have tattoos, it can't be feminine, but it's like not dominating your face. So let me put my hair base on because I feel like I look a little cray without it, especially with this hair. Uh, so let's do that. So let's put the hair base on and I'm going to apply it to the tattoo layer so that will get rid of the tattoo that I'm wearing on the side of my face. Alright, so here we go. Now Mousy has no makeup on. We're back to where we were, where we first started. Alright, so and then I'm wearing the euphoric eyes, guys, the brown. We decided to change it up for this video. Alright, so the next thing that we're going to go to is we did essences. Let's do the euphoric eyeshadows. Let's do the beauty set and lipstick. So that will be the next thing. So we'll do them together in tandem. And eyeshadow applier. And that should be everything. And then we'll be done with the euphoric. I'm kind of liking the darker tones, but I don't know how it's going to look on. So let's try this really kind of dark neutral lipstick and then this kind of like, I, I should have tried the golden eyeshadow on, but I tried like this mauve type. I, I can't really see the eyeshadow at all. I'm not sure if it hasn't like rezzed or what the situation is with that. All right, so let's come down a little bit. I'm sorry. And I'm just going to come into my face. The eyeshadow is so subtle. It's so subtle. It's pretty, but it's very subtle. Like, you could barely see it. Um, it matches this chocolate lipstick really well. I'm going to go with the lighter color because I think the chocolate is a little intense. I think this makeup set here in particular is really good for darker skin tones. Yeah, um, we're not getting so much of the chalky feel on the lips. And then let's go to the eyes. I'm going to try the first eye, which is like a golden eyeshadow. It's like a shimmery brow bone. Like that's what the focus on. It's natural, but it's like just accenting your arch and your eyebrow and certain things like that. I probably need to change my eyebrow because I'm using the eyebrow from the last shape set. And then let's try that uh, shimmery eye with like this kind of mauve, not mauve, like what color would you say like a deep rose lipstick that's pretty uh and i'm gonna try like this reddish lipstick with this eye blue eyeshadow because i just want something that's gonna pop and just stand out a little bit more okay so what do you guys think of like the blue eyeshadow like what do you guys think of that it's like a really long, sweeping cat eye, too. Alright, so I want to try the black now. So if you just want to wear something that's a little bit more, like, everyday. Mousy, you're moving way too much. So if you want to move, try something that's more everyday, let's try the first lipstick with this kind of, like, black cat eye. It's like basic, simple, but you're also wearing something on your face. Let's see what that looks like. Let 
we'll wait for that to resin. So the lipstick is really nice. I have no problem. I like the sheen. I think it's really pretty. I just want to see what this eyeshadow looks like. And I think the eyeshadow is, it's very dramatic. It's definitely not subtle, but it's pretty at the same time. So I want to try the yellow on. This is like, yeah. I think it's kind of cute, guys. What do you think? The yellow's too pigmented for me, but I think I like the black and like some of these like kind of neutral shadow tones. Let me get rid of the lipstick. I think we all, we've seen enough of the lipstick. We have an idea of what that looks like. Yeah, so let's come in a little bit. Not that close. Sorry, guys. Let me just pop back out and then we just get back in. I think that was a little too close. I mean, it, it looks like it, it looks good. Like, especially from this distance. Like, we're not all up in my face. But from this distance, it looks really good. And if we go in, it's, like, well done. If this were, like, shadow that you did at home, it's really blended nicely. It's a nice smoky eye. It's nice. All right, so that is Euphoric. Euphoric did a really good job. They gave us a lot of options. They gave us eyeshadows. They gave us tattoos. They gave us lipsticks. The lipsticks are pretty dark. I don't know how much of you, I mean, how many of you ladies will really like the lipstick. So we have beauty marks, like I said, tattoos, lipsticks, and also eyeshadows. So I think they did a really good job. Essence gave us skins, um, you know. So these are the baked on mesh skins. So Jenna's powder pack. All right. So we have an applier powder pack. So I think we have skins that we need to look at. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the shape. So this is mousy that you all know, love and know. And now we're going to change the shape. And so this is a thinner shape. This is a thinner shape. Let's look at the body. Let me just see what the body looks like. The body looks similar to the body that I have, except the thighs are a little thicker and um, just a little hippier in certain areas. So this is the Go See shape, and then we're going to check out the Go See skin tones. I should fix the eyebrows too, because I think that's important. Oh, it also has pregnant body appliers, and there are body appliers for and chubby and basic. I'm just curious. I'm going to accept this pack. I just want to see what bodies it's for, but I'm sure it's like for, okay, let's accept it. I'm not going to change my body skin though, guys, because that'll be too much. Once you see the face, you just know that we have skins in all the tones, and it looks like it's going to be for all the bodies. So let me just add one just to make sure of this. So in case you haven't bought it and you like this stuff and you want to pay full price for it, you know what bodies you can change. So that's a fairy skin that's extremely light. And this is from Matreya, Beleza, Legacy, and Omega. So the body skins are for everyone. So we're going to go to Pure. If you like any shapes, that if there are any shapes here that you like, you can also get that. And we'll just go through the skins. And it has the brow and no brow options. So then we have satin. One thing that I will say is good about this powder pack is that when you're getting skins, and I'm just going to skip to skins I will actually wear. So those are some of the like lighter skin tones. So I'm just going to jump right down to nutmeg. I'll go to fawny and almond. We'll wait for that to rest. The eyebrows look too drawn on. So I would choose the no eyebrow option and um, add eyebrows of my own. Um, I think the face looks very, like, foundation and powdered down. That's my only issue with the skin right now. Uh, so if you have a Jenna's head, maybe you could add some shine or sheen to it. I'm not exactly sure how you take care of that. Let's go to Almond. Which should be, like, a prettier skin tone. Okay. So that's almond. Not bad. All right, so let's go to earth. 
Oh, Earth and Mink is not available. So I will go to Buff. Let's try Buff because it's like one of the darker, lighter shades and see if it looks any better because some of the fairer skins I feel like has been a little bit challenging with this powder pack or yeah. So this is what the skins look like. This would not be for me, guys. Um, it's too flat. It lacks dimension. Uh, and... I, I don't even think it's the fact that I'm wearing this makeup from Euphoric because you should, I don't feel like I should have to take off the makeup. Like, I feel like you should be able to wear makeup and still see what the skin looks like. The makeup should only help it. So this is what their shape looks like with my Pumix skin. Uh, I could be biased, but I think it looks a little better. I just see already they lighten the skin tone with Pumix and make it a little lighter around the T-zone. So it gives you a glow where the chin is, the tip of the nose, things like that. Um, Pumix, I'm not wearing blush. It kind of automatically contours the cheek. So that's what I mean when I say the other skin lacks dimension. And that's why it wouldn't be for me. So let me just change my shape right now. Um, and, and shape is also really important. I felt like the other face was a little too pinched, but again, that's just me and it's my personal opinion. It doesn't make it fact, but thank you, Go See, for providing that skin. All right, so now we're going to go to the Spencer eyes. And so we literally have eye colors. Okay, so let's try some on. I don't know why we have three in a row, though. Okay, so maybe it's right, left, and both. Okay, that's what it is. Okay, Spencer eyes. I I don't know that I like these eyes. Uh, they look too, for me, like I like more realistic eyes. They look a little too fantastical for me. I don't see the difference either. I'm just trying to look really close to see why there are three of these eyes versus like one because it's changing both eyes. Let me just get in a little bit closer. Guys, we're almost done. We only have one more row to go through. And maybe later I might like time stamp it. I mean, the eyes have like a lot going on. I can't tell these subtle differences. So if anybody's familiar with Spencer eyes and could tell us like why are there three rows of eyes when it just seems to be one eye color? Like it's changing both eyes. It's not even like it's changing left and right. And guys, I'm just cycling through the eyes so that you guys could see the different colors. Yeah, these eyes look like more fantasy eyes to me. I guess the bottom row could be considered a tad bit darker, like the rings around the eyes. Yeah. All right, guys. So these are what the eyes look like from Spencer. Let me just go and this is for Mission. Let me just go and see if there are any other items here in the HUD that we can look at. And there's also lashes. I don't like to change my lashes, guys. I don't even know what lashes I'm wearing. So let me just check that really quick. I don't know what lashes I'm wearing. But we're going to have trust and faith. All right, so Spencer came through with these lashes. Um... What I'm looking at here is lashes that are like long in the in in certain parts and short in others. Wow. Okay. This is not entirely too bad. I think I would just need to make my own lashes shorter on the Genesis HUD. But if you like these, like definitely pick up the powder pack and check them out. These are more natural, subtle lashes, I would say for sure. It's definitely different from what I'm wearing, like, because I have, like, these claw lashes. These are more subtle. They're thinner. They're not as voluminous. Okay. And then there's some shorter varieties, like, of the sparse lashes that I was wearing. So it's all in lengths, different lengths and sizes and different volumes. 
So if you like these Spencer lashes from Mission, definitely go pick them up. Let's see which one I'll actually keep on. I think this one's okay. Like, I'll keep this one on. But I'm going to have to change my eye color. I think if it were me, I would make this a little bit shorter, but I don't mind the eyes itself. I don't mind the lashes. I think I would just make them a little shorter. I'm going to change my eyes into the Arise eyes because I just like those eyes the best, like those brown eyes. So let me just change that back really quickly. I think it'll look better uh, just to continue. So what was I wearing? Was I wearing these like brown ones or... Yeah, I think I was wearing like the... Ooh, that's pretty... That's pretty, but I don't know if it's like too brown. But anyways, we'll keep it just for the point of going through the video. So that's pretty. So the Spencer lashes are good. You just have to just try them on. They're a little sparse. They're not as full as um, other lashes that we often see. And um, you can get like, instead of having them like dip in and out so drastically, you can just get like a full set of natural looking lashes. The only thing, it depends on how long your lashes are with the Genus Universal HUD. So I'm just going to go to the Universal HUD really quickly and just show you guys how to lower your lashes. So you just pick up the lash HUD, you would go to settings if I'm not mistaken. Let's just wait for that to load. No, not right now, okay? And then just go to resize lashes and just bring it down, like, I just hit it four times, right? Because I'm not going to be able to talk to him right now, Jackie. So then you go and then you just bring it down four times and then it lowers the lashes so it doesn't look so awkward. So I think this sizing is okay, like for the lashes. All right, so we're at an hour, guys. So I better pick it up right now. I need to pick it up. All right, so let's just zoom back in the face. So we're wearing the Spencer Lashes Arise Eyes Euphoric Makeup. Let's see if we have anyone on that row to check. And I think that's it. That was it for mission. We're going to go to the last row now. My lashes are so natural looking that I, I just like am, I can't get accustomed to it, guys. I, I just can't. And here I was thinking this was going to be a shorter video. What was I thinking? So we have Modish, Simple Bloom, The Face, and Velour. I am appreciating the fact that I get to try all these makeups. The only thing is that, I'm going to be honest with you, I wish the skins were better. Like, I wish there were skins that I were just like, oh my god, I just have to have this, like, die for skins. Because it would make this experience a lot better for me. But because I'm so, like, ambivalent about the skins and not, like, overly the top, I'm just, like, I'm glad I paid $1,500 for this. But we're only two-thirds of the way through. I can't be blown away. It's not too late. I was blown away by certain things, like some of the eyeshadows in here arise. I was blown away by everything that they did. I thought they did a good job on everything. But um, so far, I'm a little bit underwhelmed by the skins, if I'm completely honest. All right, so for Modish, this is a face applier. And then we have body applier. So this is a skin for Modish. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change my shape. Where did it go? Did I somehow delete the shape? YUA. Let me see something. YUA. So this is for the Jenna Strong face. So it could be that, I just want to say this, I'm wearing the baby face, so it could be that um, maybe it's not for my face. But I don't mind this shape. I think the shape is actually pretty. I would just make the head smaller. That's my only complaint, and I'm going to do that in a few seconds. The body actually looks similar to mine. All the bodies have been extremely similar to mine. So I'm going to edit the shape right now, and I'm just going to make the head a little smaller. Like, I'll put it around the 44 area, and I'm going to save this. It's Jenna Strong. 
and I'm going to save this as today's date. So if you guys get a shape and you just notice something right off the bat that probably needs to change, that's all you need to do. So that's the first thing I'm going to do. I'm going to make the head a little smaller. I think it could go up to 50, but it just looks in better proportion, right? Now we have this face, which I don't mind. I think the face is actually really beautiful. The shape is beautiful. So this is a good way to start. So far, so good, guys. Now we're going to go into, and then there's slink body appliers, and then we have three face huds. So let's try the Yao face hud number one. Let's see what this looks like. I'm liking the face. I think it's really pretty. So let's try number one, and we're going to go with brown eyebrows. Do we have like an eyebrow shape? Let me just see if there's an eyebrow shape, because sometimes that does make a difference. Like, especially if the intention, ooh, this is way too light. Way too light. I don't have an eyebrow shape here. So anyways, let's delete this. Let's go on to... Or maybe not for you guys, it would be too light. But let's just go on to number two. A brown brow. And it looks like it's supposed to be like Asian skin. What do you guys think of that? I'll go for a black brow too. I wanted to do brown because my skin is like actually brown, but I think the skin kind of lacks dimension as well. It's a little too flat. Uh, I would probably need to take off my makeup to give you guys the full, um, I think it was a door that had the makeup remover, right? Do I still have the Jenna's hat up? I don't. All right, so I think it was a door that had the makeup remover. So let's go to that and just remove some stuff. So let's remove shadow and remove lipstick, just so that you guys can see what this face looks like untouched with the skin. So here's the thing. Mm. The skin is too flat. The um, that's all I could say about it. It's the skin is, it's really too flat. Uh, let's see. So this is the T skin. So I saw F1, F2, and this is T. I don't know what T is supposed to be, but let's just go to brown. Hopefully it's something a little darker. And it is. The skin's too flat. Like, there's no going around it. Like, there's not, when I say too flat, there's not enough natural dimension. Even though we have, like, some wrinkles near the eyebrow, the eyebrows, I mean, the eye crease area, the eyebrows look realistic. There just needs to be a little bit more depth to it. I like the fact that they added lip gloss to the skin. Um, I like the fact that they tried to contour the cheeks. But it, it, I don't know if it's like too glowy. Ooh, sorry. Sorry, guys. I don't know if it's like too glowy in the center or what's going on, but it just comes off a little flat. And using their same exact shape, I'm going to go back to my Pumic skin. I don't know. Is it a little too flat? From this distance, it looks okay. I don't know. I don't know what to think of this. All right, let's go back to the lighter skin and look at it a little bit pulled back from a pulled back distance. Yeah, the darker skin definitely looks better. Okay, let me just come out and then come back in again. Just making sure that it's fully rezzed and that we're giving it a fair shot. But this is supposed to be like an Asian skin. So it's supposed to be like this really milk white, I haven't seen the sun type of look. Uh, I don't know, guys. Uh, I'm not really enjoying the skins in this, in this packet. I'm really not. So this is using their shape and Pumic skin. I don't know if it just is because I'm accustomed to seeing the shade on myself. That's why I just like it. But I don't know. It's just like the cleft on the lip. It's like the the contouring that gives like a 
cleft along the cheek area. I think the face and the shape looks really beautiful. I honestly do, and I might actually rock that shape now that I have it in my arsenal, but I don't know, guys. Like, I, I love the face shape and body structure with this hair, too, but I'm, I'm just, like, not loving it. I, I'm not loving the skin this in this powder pack. I'm sorry. I It's like I hate to say it, but I, I don't really love it. All right, so we're going to go to Simply Bloom, and what we're going to is, are we going to more skins or tattoos? Let's see. So we have eyebrow collections, huh? All right, so we have eyebrows for brunettes, blondes, and ginger. All right, so let's, okay, so let's use the brow shape. And it's either going to be tattoo or, so let me go back to my normal skin. Let's go to Nakia and um, let's pick a browless skin. Is that even an option? Uh-oh, I don't know if that's an option. I don't know if that's an option for me. Hmm, how are we going to do this? I may have to choose a different skin. Hold on a second. Because uh, I'm sure there are browless options I have here. So let's just try it. a different skin. We have some ears. Or we might just have to try the skin that we had. Okay, so let's go to that we own that we know for a fact comes with the browless option. So let's go back to modish and then we're going to try on that darker skin, but we're going to try it with no brow. So it's the T01. I think it's like that's toffee or something like that where the other ones are fair. So let's try it with no brow because we want to try these eyebrows. And we also get to see if we like the skin better on Mousy's shape. Uh, not sure. But I, I think that the skin could potentially, or any skin that you're not sure of, especially with some of the eyebrows being like so dark and drawn on, I don't remember the company name off the top of my head, it may be good to uh, try to play with different skins if you have this powder pack. All right, so do we want to do, um, yeah. Let's try the ES level, which I'm not exactly sure what that is, versus the tattoo level, because I think the tattoo level will interfere, the eyeshadow level. So let's try the eyeshadow level versus um, the tattoo level, because we're not wearing any makeup right now, so that should be fine. All right, so this is what the eyebrows look like. So they're like some cut eyebrows here, and I'm gonna try it in all colors. So we have, if you have baked on mesh, you could do tattooed hair base, tattooed eyeshadow, no problem. So then we have it in brown. I think it actually does make the skin look a little better. And I guess we could put makeup on it and it would look really good. So we're gonna do blonde. I actually like that. I actually like this kind of blondish brown color with the hair. Here, let me just move that out the way so that you guys could see that better. So we have some eyebrows from Julia Water or Simple Bloom, if I'm not mistaken. Hold on, let me just make sure that's the name of the company. I've bought eyeshadows before from her. She has like this simple bloom yes she hides this eyeshadow for um this eyebrow for one linden it's really dark and it looks like it has long hairs on it let's do the ginger and it has star tattoos above the eyebrow which is really cute so i've used that for one of my obvious before and then you can have the eyebrow like these cuts in either your right eyebrow or your left eyebrow if you were interested and then just leave your other alone Okay, so that's what we have, and we have Baked On Mesh. So that's what that looks like. So if you guys are into it, like, certainly go pick that up. 
And this is a good way to show you how you can like kind of mess with your look a little bit. And these are white. This is a good way to show you how to mess with your look a little bit if you are want to just customize your skins and things like that. I'm so torn about this skin. Like, maybe I just need to see a full range of skin colors. Because if you look here, I love the shine and glow. I love the shine of the lips. But uh, let me just go back to these eyebrows. Let me just go back to these. Let, just, let me just go back to these eyebrows. Yeah, this looks really, really, in in the brown color, I think it looks really interesting with the skin. And But I would probably need like an eyeshadow or eyeliner, and I would definitely make my lashes a little bit shorter because of the way that the eyes are framed and shaped, and maybe with a different eye color. But it would need some work, like you'd have to like kind of mess around with it a little bit. So anyways, there we go. That's going to be the eyeshadow color. So let me just go back to my normal skin, Nakia. Uh, with the Simple Bloom eyebrows, I have to say that I have a little bit more faith in the skin that we just looked at. And the eyebrows are still on, so I'm going to go back to Simply Bloom, and I'm going to, I'm going to go back to Simply Bloom, and I'm going to just clear the eyebrow layer off. Okay, so we adjusted the eyebrow layer, and let's just go to any one, and we're just going to go to the clear button, because I could still see the eyebrows here. Alright, so we've gone and cleared that off, and so we're all done there. So that's what Simply Bloom their eyebrows. So I didn't mind that so much, I actually really liked it. So if you guys like it, like definitely go try it on. Like she has a whole bunch of eyebrows, like she has a soft arch, she has like a high arch, she has like straight eyebrows. So I enjoyed, like I'm familiar with her products, I didn't know the name of the company was Simply Bloom, but I'm familiar with her products, so it was like really, it's, I know how to use it, so it's like kind of really easy for me to love. Alright, so... We are at the face, and let's just go to shapes. Oh my goodness. Why are these shapes so crazy? All right, so first thing I need to do is just raise my hair a bit. This face shape is just nuts. I hate it. This face shape is just really nuts. It, like, throws off my necklace and everything. She looks really, like, weird, like, a little bit birdish in a way. So, anyways, let's just take off the Miss Chelsea fanny pack, and I'm going to take off this ducky choker collar thing that I got at the hump day sale that I really liked. This one, this ducky collar has the, um, the big bow in the back. So, Miss Chelsea... Ducky, I think it'd just be easier to not have this on. Okay, so using the shape that has been provided to us by the face, let's change the eyebrows as well. I don't know why the, oh, maybe I have like the pretty double, the pretty, but I, I always think that I take that off and it's still on. <laughs> So pretty double choker. It was like a gift. God bless you. I'm still wearing that. Alright. So this is the shape that was given to us by... Alright. We're using the shape that was given to us by the face. Uh, I don't know what I feel about this shape. But let's just try on some of the tones. I wish there was a picture in here so I could see what the skins look like. And we have so many skins. So we have, it looks like we have, uh, it says Pumic April, February, March, and May. All right, so apply brown eyebrows. Let's try this. We're bald. Really smooth skin. I don't know what's wrong with these eyebrows, guys. Like, why do they look like this? 
All right, let's try them in black. Let's see what the black eyebrows look like. Hmm. I don't know, guys. All right, so that's that. We tried them in a couple of different eyebrow colors. Let's try the February skin tone. So we have three skins. That's a lot. There's a lot to choose from. Just because it may not be my particular taste doesn't mean it's not your taste. I think if anything, I like this skin from the face a little bit more than I've liked the previous skins. Like that much I can say. Okay, then, yeah, I'll set it up in a minute. But take the phone and watch that for now. Alright, then, so this is like kind of a lighter skin tone with that brown eyebrow. The brown eyebrow looks very strange, guys. It looks very strange. So if you needed a lighter eyebrow, I think that you're going to have to add your own. And I'm going to wrap this up, guys, because my son is getting a little bit, like, antsy. I've been at this a while. Uh, so he was eating breakfast and, like, working on his letters. So now he wants to watch television. So the black looks a little strange. I think that you would need to change the eyebrows, but these are the skins. All right, so let's go to March. And I'm also going to change my shape back too. So this is March. The skins look very similar. They're all in the golden to brown ranges. There was like one pale skin. So let me just change my shape because I want to see what the skins look like with my own shape. And I got to fix my hair. Hold on a second. So let's edit that and move it down a bit. Yeah. It could probably come up front a little bit too. I, I do think the eyebrows look a little weird. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Um, and then let's check out. So we did the face. Let's see what else. What are we wearing right now? So we just got rid of that. Okay, the face. We did March. Let's do May. I don't know what pumic tones are these. Like, Alright, so this is going to be a bit of a more, like, that's, I love the skin. I just don't love the eyebrows. Like, I love this skin and the glowiness. Of it, I think I would just go to my Genesis HUD and just reduce the glow a tiny bit. But I like the skin. Like I think May is my favorite skin in this overall pack. But the eyebrows are off. So maybe I would have to do a bald eyebrow. Let's do that bald eyebrow. And let's go back to Simply Bloom for a second. You don't have to pick Simply Bloom's... Um, you don't have to make them, it do, you don't have to pick these eyebrows that are cut up. Like you could do a soft arch or any type of arch from Simply Bloom, but let's try it on. I'm going to do eyeshadow because I don't want to mess with my hair base, but let's try on their, I don't know, let's try on the brown. Let's see what this looks like. The only thing I don't agree with is that it's so specific of an eyebrow selection, like because you see how, you know, how cut up it is. Like, we don't necessarily like that. If you have other shapes and things in your inventory, you could always change the shape of the brow, too. So I'm going to go to inventory. I'm going to choose brow, and I'm going to show you how that works. So just go to brow. You have the Bitsy brow. Uh, we have the brow that came from, this is from the face. So we're wearing that probably now, so that makes no difference. But here's a brow from Pumic. It, that's a little slightly higher. Let me just lift my face a little bit. That's slightly higher. Uh, let's just look for any other brow that we might have in here. This is a uh, Sap Miriam eyebrow. I'm not even sure what this is for. Oh, you know what this is for? This might be for like some type of HUD that I have, like for. Um, like hair bases and things like that. All right, so this is the Nika brow. The other one was really high up. This one's a little lower. 
So you can change the brow shapes a little bit if you get your own unique brow. This is SB, the, this is the brow that actually comes with the packed of the tattoo eyebrow pliers. Uh, this is the Astrid brow from Clef de la Peau from the powder pack we were just looking at. So you can always apply your own brows and play with the shapes to just make it like really unique and make it your own. That's the point that I'm getting at. So I like the face shape for sure for the face. I like the face for the, I, I like the shape for the face. I like the skin. No, excuse me. I'm sorry. I don't like the shape. I do like the skin, but you need your own eyebrows. That's what I was saying. Even the uh, YUA or the U shape was much better. So let's just go back to that shape. I just want to show you. So you could use this box to just mix and match things. Okay, so let me just come out a little bit just to show you. Please stop. Sorry about that, guys. So you could use the YUA shape, which I thought it was a really pretty shape. The eyebrows here are a little bit high. You'd have to find some lower eyebrows, but just to show you how nice the skin actually is, the skin for the face, at least the May version, is very nice. It goes well with the hair that I'm currently wearing. It makes her face look, even though this is for a strong face, it makes it look a little delicate, softer. And you would just need to put your own eyebrows in. That's it. That's it. Like, that's it. So let's just go to brow shape one more time. I just want to find another one. This is a Bollywood female shaper, eyebrow shaper. I don't know what that is. It kind of lifts the eye, but I still think that's a little too high. And let's go to Bitsy, the default eye. Okay, so there we have that too. Uh, and then we'll go to Pumic just to see. So play with the shapes that you may already have in your inventory. If you have the skins, try no brows. Try different brow shapes and options. I think that these brows are a little bit high, but that's what you can do. So I'm going to clear these brows. I'm going to go back to my regular skin. Let's do that, and I'm going to go to my regular shape. But I do like this shape. I have to be honest with you. If she, Her face, to me, looks like really athletic, kind of like a volleyball player that's out in the sun, just super healthy, a little Amazonian, just like, um, just like a really cute baddie. Like, I like it. All right, so I'm back to my skin. I'm back to what I'm normally doing, and that's what we had there for the face. So if you guys like it, certainly be sure to try it out. All right, so what do we have left, guys? So we did the face, and the last thing that we're going to look at is the Valora pack, which is always, they're always available for the Happy Weekend sale. And they're selling lipsticks, and it's usually like this matte lipstick or this like type of electronic, electric eyeliner so let's just check out the lipsticks i've never been able to demo it so i think this is as good a time as any so this is really matte and it's really chalky i could tell uh well let's see it's really chalky looking but let's wait for it to res fully yeah it's not horrible but it would have to be like a very specific look that i was going for for me to wear this that's just me personally Gosh, I feel like they might have sell, sold this these lips or like some lips within the pack for a happy weekend sale, but I'm not really sure. But anyways, let's try on some of like the red tinted colors. That's pretty so far. Let's wait for it to rest completely though. I like kind of like this rosy red color a little bit. Like that would be one of my nice best shades. All right, and so we have this pink, and I'm going to try on like this peachy tone. I'm not sure about column one and then like one and two, row one and two. Uh, I think it's a little chalky. It would have to be a specific look or like this really artsy kind of vibe that you're going for. So I'm not really sure about that. 
Oh, that one's not bad. Actually, that one's not bad. It looks more like a natural color. Let's try the peachy in row one. And now I'm going to bring the powder pack up. And as we close this video, I'm going to just tell you what I'm loving and what I am just like, mm, I'm not sure. So some of the skins, let's stick to the positive, actually. So we're just going to talk about the positive things. So that's the peachy lip color, and I'm just going to put this one on, like more of a natural. All right, so let's talk about what we had here. Adored, I love the fact that they gave us cleansers with the pack, and I like the eyeshadows, and I, I like the lipstick. For Arise, if I'm not mistaken with Arise, Arise had the eyeshadows, which were like the sheer but beautiful shimmery tones. The eyes, I loved. Clef de la Peau gave us skins. Um, I thought the skins needed a little bit of work. Um... The shape was okay, if I'm not mistaken. Calvati, I believe, gave us like these really beautiful, let's look up Calvati really quick. These really pigmented eyeshadows that I really liked. And I might just put it on again for you just so that as a reminder. Yes, Calvati gave us these really beautiful pigmented, like, gorgeous, applied to perfection eyeshadows that I really loved and enjoyed. Essences, what did you give us, Essences? Hold on a second. Essences gave us skins, which I wasn't, like, really that crazy about. Um, the shape looked very much like the model. It just needed a little bit tweaking, but um, the skins were just, like, really white and flat. That's what I thought. Like, it was very one-dimensional. There wasn't just a lot going on with the um, with the skins. Then we, ha we went to go see... Let's go into Go See again. They gave us skins as well. And I thought like the eyebrows were a little bit too like sharp on the eyebrows for the Alana pack. Let's look at that. Yeah, look at the eyebrows. The eyebrows were like literally drawn on. On the model, it looks really interesting, but I feel like it didn't look like that on. Hmm. The way the model is styled, it's styled to look humanoid, but also kind of ethereal because you're like an elf and it's a little otherworldly. If you're going to go for a style like this, maybe you'd like it. But I think when I had it on, I felt like the eyebrows were just too harsh. Like I really, I felt like the eyebrows were really too harsh, guys. All right. So then we had that. And then for Mission, Mission gave us some, um, I don't, I'm not remembering off the top of my head. Oh, lashes and eyes. The eyes I did not like. I thought it was too much. The lashes I'm currently wearing, and it was just like these light, natural looking lashes. I thought the lashes were actually really beautiful. And then we had like these really uh, extreme grades where they were really long and short with some of the lashes that I'm pointing out here. So I like that. No big deal. Um... Then we had Modish. Let's go back to Modish really quick and just do a quick review. Love the skin for the the YUA skin. And I'm just going to go to this one where I met the head a little shorter. Like, I did like this. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I like the shape. Let's just say that. I like the shape of the face and the body. I thought it was really cute. It was really nice. So that's what that looks like. Um, let me just back out into the body. The body's look, look at her butt in those tights, you know, it's slim, thick. Um, it's a little bit athletic. That's what, and you don't see that body type too much in SL. So I really did like that. The skin, I didn't mind, but the toffee colors, the fair was too white. It was like in essence, milk white. Um, and it was just really stark. You'd have to be going for a really specific look to really enjoy that. Simply Bloom gave us eyebrows. We focused a lot on the eyebrows towards the end. It was like these uh, cut in the eyebrows, stylistic eyebrows, except the arches were really high. The face gave us some good skins. There were some skins that I enjoyed. The eyebrows on the skins were weird, however, and you would need to change the eyebrow colors. Velour gave us these lipsticks. A lot of them were really matte and chalky, but there were some workable ones in there, like this one that I'm wearing now. So that is my review of the Powder Pack Genesis March 2020. If you like it, just go out and get it. Sorry for any interruptions. You know, my son's four. He could keep himself entertained for some time, but he really does need mommy to, like, help him out and, you know, 
talk to him and socialize with him. I am going to do the Sunday sale review, or maybe I won't. Um, there's a YouTuber who's done it today. Her name is Celine. Um, I love doing that sale, but right now it's eight o'clock SLT time. And I want to, I'm going to take a break, like 30 or 40 minutes or so, spend some time with my son. If I have time, we'll go back to that video. Cause it's a lot of time to ask a four year old to kind of like, you know, play quietly and things like that. So we'll see. So thank you guys so much for like, uh, watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you enjoyed, just be sure to like, and subscribe to this video. Thanks.